everyone and welcome to another let's play today we are playing ruin factory 5 oh my goodness i am so excited that opening was great uh i have been a long oh okay i have been a long avid fan of harvest moon games since i was a kid and i played ruin factory tides of destiny and frontier i was a console gamer mostly i didn't have um, I did have a DS, I just didn't get the Ruin Factory games for some reason. I just, I was in a rural area and didn't see them in our store, I guess. Who are these people and they have outfits? It's because I have the Earthmate edition. <gasps> Tides of Destiny outfits? Speaking of, hello? Aiden and Sanja? That's amazing. Cool, we got outfits. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I am so excited for this. Ah, uh, I just I don't even know what to say. There's not even language settings. We'll keep it with... We'll keep it English, I suppose. There's no settings we can cal or can mess with right now. I'm sure it's fine. Also, I heard that this one is the first Rune Factory game that's gonna have same-sex marriage. That's amazing. Hello? Don't know why it hasn't been implemented before, but I'm so glad it's implemented now. I guess these two are our protagonists, the male and female version. Um, I guess we'll just jump right into it, because I don't know what else to say. I'm just so excited to play this. I'm just vibrating in my seat, guys. You'll wear out the soil. Huh. I didn't know that. It's interesting. The kingdom of Norad, a forest along the border? Oh shit. Oh no, not the small child. Oh gosh, what's happening? A scream? Ah! It's a girl, I have to help her. Oh, this is how you choose your gender. Yeah, we'll be girl. You're just the right woman in the wrong place. Wait, what? Continue as the female character, choose no to reselect. 
Uh, yeah, we'll pick the female character. <laughs> Are we sure we don't need help? Ugh, must have blacked out. What happened? I can't remember anything. Oh, they actually voice it? Also, I can barely hear her. It's just a woolly. Oh, come on. A monster? Wait right there. I'll protect you. What are we going to fist fight this woolly? I... First, I need to equip a weapon. I'll... Open the L pocket with the L button. Then I can select my broadsword and press the Y button to equip it. How do we know this? Oh, Y. All set. Now I just need to close in on the enemy and press the B button to attack. Even if I lose sight of them, I can always use the right stick to look around and figure out where they went. Oh, gosh. Wait, we can talk to her? <laughs> Help. Dang. All right, let's do this. But Wooly did nothing but stand there. FYI. You okay? Are you all right? Uh, I... huh? Close the portal. Look out. Hold on. Two of them? I wonder which one I should focus on first. At times like these, I can press the right stick to lock onto an enemy. Then I can move the right stick to choose between different targets. I'll use the R button to dash out of the way of enemy attacks. Do we have an options button? Nice dashing. Did I get critical because I came from behind? Be tired. You're hurt. Am I? <laughs> this is nothing. Either way, we need to get out of here. Come on. Uh, I... <laughs> what? Why were we just passed out on the on the forest floor as well? So pretty. Today's the day. Oh gosh. This journey begins with a single step. Yes. Phew. You can do it, Priscilla. Priscilla to move. <laughs> Wait, did they put me in clothes? Did they just dress me up? Hey, she's awake. I'll go get my mom. Priscilla sounds like um uh, Sophia from Persona Strikers. Oh Um Hello.
Why are you so loud? Come on. Murakumo, you scared Hina and Priscilla half to death. I'm sorry. Sorry, Lucy. Heard my niece was carried in here. Your niece? Thanks to my hero. You. How can I ever repay you? Huh. Uh. Oh, whoa. Hey now. What are you doing to my patient? I really need to fix this music to voice ratio because it's not working well for me. I can't hear them as well. That's your mom? You look nothing alike. Oh, mom, I was just coming to get you. Well, I'm here now. Nothing alike. Unless she's adopted. I'm this town's doctor, and also its mayor. Oh shit! Call me Simone. Simone, the mayor and doctor. So how are we feeling? Experiencing any pain? Not really. Actually, I feel fine. No numb. Numbness oh. either? Thank goodness. If you don't have any difficulty speaking, then I'd like to ask a few questions. What is that on her arm? That green thing. First off, what is your name and birthday? Huh? Um, we'll just stick with the default name since we can't customize our appearance. We'll just be Alice. Yes. Alice sounds amazing. Hmm. Usually I just do my birthday. it is summer 20th, but I was thinking maybe a, a spring birthday. I'm gonna do a generator real quick, because I really don't. Random generator. We're doing spring. Uh, let me do the day now. Come on. All right, it did it. Spring 23rd. That's what we're doing. sure my name's Alice. My birthday is spring 23rd, I think. And your hometown? Where are you from? Well, I, um, I don't freaking know. Did we lose our memories? Typical ruin factory. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, I can't remember. You appear to be suffering from memory loss. I'm afraid the sym madness. <laughs> what? I'm afraid the symptoms point to a case of amnesia. That doesn't sound too yes. good. Hey. Afraid not. Amnesia's no joke. I never met anyone with amnesia before. What should I do? Isn't there anything we can do? What to do? Everyone's getting worked up over me. What to do? I should leave before I cause any more trouble. <laughs> Let me just leave. Bye, guys. Thanks for your concern, but I'm okay, really. 
I better be on my way now. What? Hey now, what are you saying? Hina's hero is crashing with me. Oh no, they're fighting. Absolutely not. Stop this nonsense. She's my patient. She'll be staying under my care. What? You just want a chance to study an amnesiac. What? <laughs> for her own safety, of course, and for science. Do I even get a say in this? I'm not following, like, any of this. Don't be dense. Isn't it obvious? They're arguing over who's going to take you in. Could you, pe Could you people be any more gullible? You're inviting a total stranger into your homes. For all you know, she's a wolf in Wooly's clothing. Okay, Lucy, listen. No way, Alice is a good person. Mm -hmm. As much as I am inclined to agree with Hina, my daughter does raise a valid concern. Oh, I know, Lucy. Be a dear and take Alice to the field captain's office. The soul spear doesn't lie. One scan will tell us what kind of person she is. The soul spear? Hey, why me? I'm the one who raised the red flag. Um, well, uh, I wouldn't mind taking you. Really? Yeah. Sure, the field captain's office is on the first floor. Thanks. Thank you. Priscilla. Okay, another thing you're in Factory 5 has done different, I've noticed, is that everyone's a different height. Hey! The romances. Wait up, I'm coming too! But you said you didn't want to come. Camera controls. Move the camera with the right stick. You can adjust the camera speed and invert the controls. Change the settings on the options page of the camp menu. Open the camp menu by pressing the plus button. Saving the game. The game automatically saves your progress with the autosave feature. Whenever you want to save the game yourself, interact with the save point and open up the camp menu. Save your progress on the save load page. Whenever you save, a hint related to advancing the game's story will pop up. Use these if you're feeling lost. Your mini-map shows the destination of the next story event. Oh, shit. We're cute! How do I... Okay. Like, the, the music was just too loud, man. Can you just go a little bit? Oh my god, okay. fight with you? This is cool. What? Hey, wait, where are you going? The Phil Captain's office is this way. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. It's my wardrobe. It up. Break it? How would I do that? Okay, you know what? We won't mess with this right now. I, I should just do the main story. Get me out. Oh! I... Put your weapon up, girl. 
The field captain's office is down the stairs and to your right. Come now. now no dwaddling. Okay. There, we put it up. Okay. <laughs> field captain's office is right through that door. How wants this box? And why does it have a face? A box? How rude. Whoa, did this box just talk? I told you already, I'm not a box. Despite my appearance, I do in fact have a name. Saint Eliza. Call me Eliza for short. E Eliza? That's me. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Now that I think about it, you can actually hear me? At first glance, you don't look too dependable, but I can see that you have potential. I do? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just talking to myself. You can change the game's difficulty level here. You have three options. Easy, normal, and hard. It has a difficulty setting? Oh. I could... I didn't know you could do that. Your current play on normal. Let me know if you ever want to change it. You can also ex access the directive system here. If you'd like to give it a whirl, then look at the first directive request on the task board. What? I don't even... Anyway, we'll we'll deal with that later, I guess. What the? Who's this child? Huh? Captain Livia. Excuse me? Excuse us, Captain Livia? Yeah? Oh, if it isn't Priscilla. Oh, I didn't give you in time. Oops. We come to register Alice with the Soul Spear. Alice? Ah, this, this one. one. So she's finally awake. Um. I don't know how I feel about the partial. Um. The partial um, voice characters, because I don't know when I should read or when I should let them read. This child is the field captain? Yes. She runs the Silo Seeds Rig Barth Outpost. Who's Rig Barth? What's a seed? X seed? Like the company? Honestly. Okay, Lucy. You're irritating me. Can you at least try to keep up? This town is called Rig Barth. It's kept safe from monsters by seed. An organization dedicated to protecting people. And the building you're standing in is Rigbarth Outpost, which is also known as the Silo. The clothes you were wearing were all torn up, so we took the liberty of lending you a seed uniform. Y'all changed my clothes? Got it? Got it. Thanks. Thanks for filling me in. No need to thank me. <laughs> She's gonna get all blushy blushy. Maybe she can be cute. So, where did you come from? What brings you to our peculiar little slice of the frontier? Honestly, I can't remember. And that and means... That means oh. what? See? Exactly? See what I mean? I, I don't know if I should read it or should just let them read it. She supposedly has amnesia. That's why we like you to run a soul spear check. Oh. I see. Yes, small child. Ooh, like a little crown. In that case, hold out your hand towards the crystal. Got it, chief. Our soul spear is more valuable than you could possibly imagine. Break it and you'll be fined into oblivion. I kid, I kid, you can relax. I don't know if I should relax. That huge crystal is the soul sphere. Doesn't it shine so beautifully? I got my eye on you. You better not try any funny business. Got it? Lucy, stop being so suspicious of me. This thing? It's so bright. Ah! What's happening? These ruins are nearly out of control. That can only mean one thing. Enough! Get away! Um, uh, right. That was a surprise. Who or what are you? 
That's what I like to know. What gives, Phil Captain? That was not a normal reading. Normally, the soul spirit only gives off a faint glow, right? Ma'am? Huh? Yes, right. At ease, you two. This one is no threat. In fact... No, never mind. The important thing is that no thing suspicious came up on the soul spear. Alice is squeaky clean. Thank goodness. Yep, I feel relieved. Not gonna lie, I'm way out of my depth here. For starters, what's a soul spear? The soul spear is, uh, you know. Uh, what is it? Um, my mom told me it quantifies the inner light of a, li a living spirit. Whatever that means. <laughs> what the f*** does that mean? Off your hand and it will reveal a lot about who you are. Right, Captain Livia? Yeah, that about sums it up. More importantly, Alice. If you don't have anywhere else to go, then I have some work for you. Oh? Our only active ranger is away at Seed Headquarters, so we're a little understaffed. That's putting it lightly. They're so short-handed we've had to work overtime, and we're just volunteers. Well? Interested? The job comes with free room and board. I don't, I don't know. Fending off a monster or two is one thing, but protecting a whole town? That's... Alive. I'm sure we can do it. Small child. Oh gosh. What is it, Cecil? There's a mystery afoot, Captain Livia. Is there? Granny Yuki's spectacles have been spirited away. Yeah. She lost her glasses again. It's not that. No, ma'am. They vanish into thin air. It's a serious incident. Sheesh. Okay, okay. This one's all yours, Lucy. <clears throat> Me again? Come on, Lucy. Hurry. We need to investigate the scene before it's compromised. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> of all the lousy... That sounded... Serious? Strange things always happen when Cecile Boy Detective is around. That's what qualifies for a mystery out in the sticks. We're just a sleepy hamlet where nothing happens. As soon as your memory returns, you can pack up and go, but for now, we need all the help we can get. I mean, alright. Yes. When you put it that way, sign me up. Excellent, welcome to the team. Now then, let's put you to work. Priscilla, take our new recruit out back for some field training. Huh? By field, do you mean... Agricultural. Seed is a self-sufficient organization. You'll just start in the field. After that, the only thing limiting what you can do is, your, is my imagination. Not so. Okay then. Well, shall we? Okay, Priscilla. Oh man, this is the field. It looks horrendous. What have y'all done to it? I'm gonna explain how farming works now, okay? Yes, please. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't know what I was gonna do if you didn't want to listen. <laughs> She's really going out of her way to help me. Great, well, the best way to learn something new is to get some hands-on experience. So could you start by tilling this field for me? I mean, I like to say yes. But this place seems like it's in pretty bad shape. To tell the truth, nobody's worked this field for ages. So let's clean it up first. Could you please use the A button to pick up all the weeds and branches? And can you can stick them in the shipping bin over there. Um. How do we... Okay. 
Surely you can pick up multiple things. No, don't. I don't want to eat it either. Priscilla, how do you. What? <laughs> what? She was like, you did a good job. I did three things. By the way, if you hold down the A button, then you'll only pick up items of the same type. Oh, and if you lock onto the shipping bin when you're holding something, then you can throw stuff in there from a distance. Excuse me? Give it a shot sometime. Moving on, please take this. A cheap hoe. Ah. Try stealing the soil on the spots you cleared. If there's anything you don't understand, just ask me for help. Tell me when you tilled some soil. Hang on. Oh, shit. That's not... I can throw rocks at Priscilla? Oh, wait. more weeds around. There. That's kind of cool. You don't have to run to it. <laughs> this is amazing. That's amazing. Okay. Wait, how do we... Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, how do we... Oh, the L button, the pocket, that's right. Why? Okay. Wonderful! You made that look easy. If you use a better quality hoe, then you can till several squares at once. I'll teach you how to use those next. Or these next. Turnip seeds. Sow these seeds whenever whatever you've tilled the soil. I will figure I will figure out how to do this stuff eventually. How does it work? Does it just do one per? There you go. Okay. Easy does it? Easy does it. There you go. Are there nine seeds? I keep wanting to do A to do things, there not B. B doesn't feel there natural to me for some reason. There you go. Alright. There you go. What's next on the list? Yes, very nice. If you hold down the B button, you can sow multiple seeds across a wide area. Wow, we should need that before. Okay, let's move on to the last thing. A cheap water pot. Go ahead and water your seeds with this. I need to get water first, right? Perfect, you're a natural at this. The field dries out overnight, so make sure you water the seeds you plant it every morning. Oh, but not on our rainy days. I know they may seem dreary, but they're not all bad because you don't need to water your field when it rains. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about farming. Just keep tilling the soil, sowing seeds, and watering whichever, whatever plant, whatever you plant. Then you'll be harvesting your own crops in no time. You can eat whatever you grow as is, or you can cook something with them. I bet everyone in town would appreciate receiving something you've grown as a present. And of course, you can always leave your crops in the shipping bin to sell them for a profit. Someone will come by every day at 8 a.m. to collect what's inside, so make sure you put everything you want to, to sell in there before then. Oh, they don't come in the evening anymore? That's nice. I like that. I hope that all makes sense. I hope that all made sense. Well, good luck work. Good, good work today. I can't speak. Oh, yeah, one more thing. 
More turnip seeds? Whoa, that's a lot. Are you sure I can have these? Please, I insist. Think of it as a thank you present for cleaning up the field. I'm looking forward to seeing what you grow here. Uh, <laughs> I'll try to live up to your expectations. I think you'll do just fine, Alice. Not many people could do all this work as easily as you did, especially not on their first try. That's a good reason why Captain Libya made you a ranger. You're just like the one in those, uh, what were they called? Earth maids? You know, Alice, maybe it's not just farming you're good at. I get the feeling that you're the kind of person who can make the whole world a green, vibrant place. Oh, come on now, you're exaggerating. <laughs> but wouldn't it be nice if that were true? When I was little, I read stories about Earth maids who rode dragons through the sky. They would tend the earth and bring it to life, filling the world with ruins. I always loved reading about them. Uh, ruins? Oh, I'm sorry. Ruins are, um, they're sort of like your stamina, or maybe your life force? Basically, if you work yourself too hard and use up all your ruins, you'll collapse from exhaustion. So be careful, okay? Okay. Uh. Oh, are you- Sorry for pushing you so hard. Let's call it a day. I didn't water all of them. Use the L but left button not for your tools and the right button for your weapons. Okay. I didn't water them all. The field captain said you can use this room. So it's yours now, Alice. Oh wait, isn't this the silo? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. But this second floor room has always been empty, and Captain Livia said the rangers should live here. Sh sh she did? Well, at least safety won't be a problem. Right, Captain Livia lives just downstairs, after all. Also, people come by the silo all the time. If you ever need any help, I'm sure someone will be happy to lend you a hand. Uh, shouldn't it be the other way around? Don't worry about it. Everyone around here is always eager to help each other out. Then maybe I'll ask them for a favor or two. Go for it! That being said, right now your room has only has a bed, a calendar, and a projector. Projector? You can use the calendar to check the date and see whether a festival or anything is coming up soon. The projector lets you view any cutscene you've seen. Priscilla, what do you know about that? What do you know about cutscenes? Last up is your bed. After you go to sleep, you'll wake up at 6 a.m. the next day and your HP and the RP restored. If you don't sleep enough, you'll become fatigued and all, you're also more likely to catch a cold. So make sure you always get a good night's sleep. Unless I got that cold mask on. And sure, if you feel tired, go to bed. That's all I used in um, Frontier. <laughs> that about does it. Great, Great work. work today. Rest up. Thanks, Priscilla. She's actually really sweet. She's so short and cute. Take it easy and rest well, okay? What well, if I don't want to rest? The sweet siren song of sleep steers me towards slumber. Okay, that's too many S's. Fine, I should- I wish I watered. Oh well. Can we also save? How many saves do we get? 20? That's amazing. We were struggling back in the day on the Wii with only three slave saves. Alright, we'll sleep. Oh shit, we got sleeping clothes? Good night. Good night, Priscilla. Are you gonna stand there all night? Good morning. I guess she did. <laughs> Wake up, Alice. It's already morning. Bro, we didn't even get under the covers. Mm. Oh, you're awake. Morning. Oh gosh, morning. Good morning. Priscilla? And you too, Lucy. Morning. Pretty cold. I wonder if she still just trusts me. Oh yeah, did she solve the case of the missing glasses? Yeah. Naturally. Wow. Glad to hear it. Cecile sure must feel relieved. 
Relieved I didn't chew him out for wasting my time, Yuki's glasses were sitting right on her head. <laughs> they say it's always the last place you look. P Priscilla? Sorry. I was trying to hold back a yawn. Hope she's getting enough sleep. No, she's not because she stood there watching over us all night. <laughs> Why fight if you gotta yawn, just yawn. Showing the inside of my mouth to the whole world is just too embarrassing. Okay, whatever you say. Let's See? just let's just pass along our message already. Then maybe you should go back to bed. You have a message for me? Sure. Fill Captain's order. She wants you to, to introduce yourself to everyone in town. Oh wow, your first official seed mission. Good luck and break a leg. Awesome. Press the minus button to bring up the map area. Use this map while in town to see everyone's current location. Hover the cursor over a building to see who's inside. The warp menu. When on the map screen, you can choose to warp to places you've already visited. Press the Y button to bring up a list of locations. Whoa. Oh. Okay. I guess we'll unlock that later. Oh, Alice! <sighs> Didn't get enough sleep again? Nope. So many people have asked me to help them out with so many things. Wow, that sounds rough, not that you look too upset about it. <laughs> I'm not. I like giving our neighbors a helping hand. It's fun and makes me feel warm inside. If you ever need help with anything, just let me know, okay? I'll be more than happy to... Sounds more like I should be helping you. How about you just get some more sleep? <laughs> Time to tackle another day. Have fun. <laughs> Alice. Hey. hey. Have you seen Julian around? The little scamps wandered off somewhere again. Honestly. Uh, seriously, where where did he get time to Where did he get to this time? I take my eyes off him for two seconds and poof, he's nowhere to be seen. Yikes, sounds like you're having a tough day, Lucy. Uh, I'm used to it, though Julian's not the only one I worry about. Now I gotta keep an eye on you. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Well, have you lost your memories, right? I know you're not a weirdo or anything, but a girl's gotta wonder. Can you really make a life for yourself in Rigbarth? Like, at all? Are you gonna remember to eat your vegetables and get enough sleep? Will you get along with your neighbors, say hi to them, and send the right greeting cards at the right times? And most important of all, will you be nice to Priscilla? Will she want to be friends with you? I'm serious, when someone's a buy one get seven free special on the worry aisle, how am I supposed to turn my back on them? Damn, Lucy. Um, I'm standing right here, you know. Oh, right, I was in the middle of something. I gotta go find Julian. Better run. See ya, Alice. If you need anything, just let me know. Thanks? Well, I guess that means she's concerned about me, at least. What the hell? Is this what I talk to? What the hell is this? I thought I talked to the books over there. Apparently I talked to this? No, I don't want to do nothing, Eliza. What the hell? Is time... Where's the time? There's not a set time? Oh. Ah. So how the feels work going? I mean, it's going great, no problems. Hey, yeah, you're more enthusiastic about this than I expected. By the way, do you know anything about harvest reports? Can't say I do. Ah, then let me fill you in. Weather and other conditions will determine whether your harvest is bountiful or poor. We can predict local conditions for up to a week at a time. So you should pay attention to them when you're about to harvest something. I can give you an even more detailed explanation if you like. Tell me every last detail. Then listen closely. Like I said, harvest reports tell you whether your harvest for a particular crop during this week or the next will be bountiful or poor. For example, if you harvest turnips during a bountiful week, then you'll end up with way with more than you usually would. But if you harvest them during a poor one, then I'll end up with fewer than usual? Exactly, hence why you always need to take the timing of your harvest into account. Watering your crops to prevent them from dying, drying out is one way to ensure a good harvest. 
and you can speed up the growth process if you think outside of the box, such as by, such as by using fertilizer. But you don't have to go that far if you don't feel like it. It's, up to, it's all up to you. If you ever want to check the harvest report, just ask me about it. I will. Thanks so much. Cool. How's our little town today? I don't know. I haven't been out. Alright. We're stepping out now. Who's that? Oh, what I've... Hello. Rookie Sky. Sleep is good for your health. Sleep makes you strong. Really, it does. Try not to lose too much sleep over that, okay? I guess it's like an NPC. I guess not every character is going to be important, important. Well. Because I didn't water two of them yesterday. Or I only watered two of them yesterday. You're big and strong, okay? I hope it comes out okay. Is there like a Oh oh it just sucked me to the next one. Okay, cool, so you don't accidentally water the same um plant. What's over here? Okay, we can stash. This is cool. You can pick up multiple ones at once. Antidote, medicinal, and green grass. Okay. Those are just random people. Okay, it said map you can pull up with this. Okay, I guess we'll go to the blacksmith first since it's the closest. True Strike Smithy, weekdays 9 to 6 p.m., holidays 9 to 2 p.m. Hello? so focused. Um, excuse me. Ooh. A marriageable candidate? Hmm? <laughs> what a grand entrance. Who are you? Oh. Hi. Um, I'm Alice, the new C trainee. I'll be staying in Rig Bar for a little while, so I'm gonna introduce myself. Uh huh. <laughs> Hello. Your mustache is going through your chest, sir. Sir, Master Derek. Derek. New C trainee's here. Uh, what's that, Martin? Martin. A new seed trainee is here. <laughs> Jeez. A blue seed train's near where? Oh, Jesus. Please stay your hand for a moment, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. Why didn't you tell me we got a customer? <laughs> Not a customer. Seed's latest recruit. I mean, I can't be a customer. My name's Alice. Ah, the new kid in town. 
Granny Yuki told me about you. I haven't even met Granny Yuki. Name's Derek. I'm the blacksmith around these parts. Martin here is my apprentice. Hello. Must be rough, losing your memory. Wish I could help. Say, that's it. Martin, show him the forge. Hammer away on the anvil might knock something loose. Oh my god. <laughs> Understood. Okay. I'll keep it short. Yes. Uh, okay. Looks like you're ready, but let's get started. Smithy allows you to make weapons and farm tools. Of course, you can't make much of anything without metal or any other materials. Normally, you gather ore from dungeons with a hammer. But since you probably don't have any right now, you can use this. Some steel. Thank you. No need to thank me. Moving on. Why don't you start by making a long sword? Choose the make a weapon option, then select long sword. What should I make? He said make a weapon. <laughs> so we're gonna do exactly what he said to do. The recipes you can make appear on the left side of the screen. The materials required for each recipe appear in the upper right corner. If you have all the necessary materials, a recipe will have bold letters. If not, then it'll have faded letters. I'll try making a claymore. Oh. Okay. Clear your mind and strike true. That's all you need to do for now. Oh, I don't actually do anything about it. It just happens. Okay. All right, that should do it. Receive to claim more. Let me see that. Hmm. Color me surprised. You did well for your first try. You may have a talent for this after all. Well, I do have a good teacher. Smithy is such an amazing art, I can hardly believe that I turned a lump of metal into something like this. It's almost like magic. You really think so? Anyway, did you remember anything? <laughs> nope, nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't remember shit. I see, well, if it were that easy, then I doubt you have to try so hard in the first place. If you need a flash of inspiration, you could try eating some bread. Wait, bread? Really? Did I stutter? <laughs> Dang, Martin! Oh, right, you lost your memories. You learn new recipes by eating recipe bread. Uh, okay, that's news to me. Depending on what you want to make, you can eat weapon bread <laughs> or farming bread. Excuse me? Although sometimes you won't learn anything at all from eating them. That happens when your forging level or tool related skill level is too low. In other words, it means you aren't ready to handle something like that yet. I'm still in training my, in myself, so unfortunately there's not much else I can teach you. Sorry about that. Oh, don't worry. I learned a lot. Thanks so much. If you ever want to get serious about forging, then you should get a forging license in your own forge. Use a directive to take the test for a forging license at Rick Bar outpost. As for a forge, you can buy one at Studio Palmo. Thanks, Martin. That's about it. If you don't have any other business here, please leave us to our work. We've wasted enough of my master's time already. Thank you very much. Sure thing. Thank you. I don't think I've introduced myself to everyone yet. Oh, it's you. Here to ask something about sniffing? Actually, I was wondering if you could tell me more about the smithy itself. Oh, hmm. Alright. In addition to farming tools and weapons, we also sell armor and accessories. We sell the materials required to make them as well. Wow, I didn't know you were making armor and accessories too. Yeah, although you craft those rather than forge them. If you want to do that yourself, you need to get a crafting license and a crafting table. Hope that helps. Well, thanks. Mutter. According to the fundamental tenet of foraging, the secret to making something good lies in visualizing the person who will use the finished item. Oh, oh, uh, uh, uh hello, Martin? Hel uh, hello? What's up? Oh, Alice, something wrong? That's my line. I was standing right here and you didn't even notice me. Uh, I guess I got caught up in my mental be review with Master Dar Darek's lesson. Does that happen often? Every right. once in a while, yes. When I focus, I lose sight of everything except for what's right in front of me. I was right in front of you, yet you still didn't see me. Well, try to avoid doing it when you're walking around, okay? It'll be terrible if you ran into something. Don't worry, I always keep medicinal herbs on me for when that happens. Martin! So it happens a lot, huh? 
Oh my gosh. Hello, dude. Derek? Oh, you're uh, Alice, was it? I imagine having amnesia aren't the most present pleasant experience, but don't let that get you down. Your memories will come back someday. In the meantime, come see me if you ever need help. Don't try to do everything yourself. We're here for you. I'll remember that, Derek. Thanks. That's actually really nice. Okay. We'll just be on our way. Guess there's some people over here. Wait, okay, where are they? Where am I going? I don't think this is the way. I keep wanting to jump for some reason. I don't think there's a jump button. General store, okay. Check that out then. It's a case! It's a case! God, it's a cell. I'm on the case! Oh, hi! Oh, it's you again! Hey! What the heck is this? Um. Just as I deduce, you must be Alice. Yeah, but how do you know my name? Mr. Terry clued me in. A stranger without a pass appearing out of nowhere? Now that is a real mystery. I had to see it with my own eyes. It's Terry. Cecil. Cecil. Did he just hit him? Show some respect. This young woman's predicament is nothing for you to get excited about. Oh, gosh, uh, my apologies. Uh. I hope you'll accept my apology, too. I'm the one who got him all riled up over a new incident. It's fine. Please don't worry about it. Um. On that note, are you Terry? You are correct. Not that it was much of a riddle. I own the general store, but I work with Seed on the side. Here's to the start of a beautiful friendship. Yes! Likewise, I look forward to working together. Excuse me? Can I also be your friend? <laughs> Cecil, what the hell? Of course! The more the merrier, Cecil. Cecil. Awesome! Thank you! I don't think I've introduced myself to everyone yet. Yeah, I don't think so either. What is that? I guess I can pay for my items here. Hey. Guess what? Alice, come on, now's not the time to stand idly by. There's a mystery afoot and a big one at that. Really? Yeah, according to my investigation as we speak at this very moment. Yes. Nobody in this whole town has a single problem. Huh. On days like this, we usually have at least one request for an errand or missing item or something, but not today. Not, no one, not one person has any trouble with anything at all. This isn't normal. It can't be. What in the world is going on here? Hmm. The plot thickens. Uh, to someone like Cecil, the death of mysteries to solve is a mystery in and of itself. The dearth? The dareth? Okay, Cecil, you know. Let me go upstairs and talk to Terry. Hey, Terry. Hey there, Alice, was it? The name's Terry. I know we went through this already, but just for the sake of good manners, let me reiterate that it's nice to meet you. Same here, Terry. If you ever need anything, don't hesitate to come see me. I just might be able to give you a hand. Really? How generous of you. Thanks. So... Okay. Guess we continue on. there's like someone here in this house or this place what is this sweet hearth like a bakery or an inn <gasps> it 
It's the bread. Are you the... Are you Yuki? Hmm, smells like fresh baked bread. Welcome. Bearded grandpa. Sorry oh. about that. Oh, excuse me, I'm not here to buy anything. As a matter of fact... You're the new seed trainee, aren't you? Oh, now do you know who this is, Yuki? <laughs> Yuki, alright, the woman from the glasses incident. Priscilla told me all about our new neighbor. That girl was positively beaming with excitement. She had more than a few kind words to say about Seed's latest hire. Oh, really? Isn't that something? My name's Alice, and yeah, that's me. I look forward to getting to know you. Same. I'm Randolph. Randolph. My wife Yuki and I run this little bakery. Okay. Feel free to drop in and chat anytime. <laughs> Even if you aren't looking to buy. Huh? I, I wouldn't want to impose. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Old timers like us love nothing more than to chew the fat. Well, I just want to catch up on the latest gossip. But my husband here lives for tales of adventure. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever you happen to hear through the grapevine, <laughs> we'll be happy to lend an ear. Got, got it. Oh, they're so sweet. I don't think I've introduced myself to everyone yet. Yeah, we know. Wait, where are they? Oh, hello, Randolph. Why, hello there. It's good to see you. Do come visit me and Yuki again sometime soon. We'll always be happy to hear about your day. I'll just go say hi to Yuki real quick. Hello, dear. How nice it is to see you again. Randolph and I would love to have another chat with you, so don't be a stranger. You're always welcome at our little bakery. Thanks, I'll definitely take you up on your offer. How sweet. They're actually like the sweetest couple ever. Alright, something in the... Oh, wow, this is pretty. Someone's here? Hello? Is that Lucy? <laughs> Oh. Wait! <gasps> Lucy, please. L Hello? Chasing after my brother, Julian. You okay? No worries. Are you okay, Lucy? I'm fine, thanks. Maybe something the matter? It, it's nothing. I was wrong to be suspicious of you. Oh, cool. Ugh, I don't have time for this. I gotta hunt down Julian. I take my eyes off the kid for one second. He runs off to who knows where. <laughs> Sounds like a real handful. More like two. You're in training, right? Give me a hand. First one to catch him wins. Huh? Who, Julian? This is now a seed mission. Three, two, one, go. Um. Off she goes. Where is he? Do I actually help with that, or like what? Well, we're gonna go meet everyone else first. Seems like there's a medicine place. A clinic. Oh, 
Jeez. Simone? Simone? Oh my. Hello, Alice. How are you feeling? Great. Thank you for your help earlier. No thanks necessary. As a doctor, it's my responsibility to... <coughs> are you okay? That sounds pretty bad. For all my years of medical training, I'm not very good at taking care of myself. But at least I get to try the experiment treatments. <laughs> Ooh. You're taking untested medications? Of course, I can't very well use my patients as test subjects. Unless you would like to donate your body to science. Well, um, as long as it won't hurt. <laughs> Sorry, a joke. Only a joke. I'm, I can't do these coffin and hackins. This is no laughing matter, Simone. Okay, Simone. You know what? You do you, girl. You do you. Uh, hello, Alice. Hi, Simone. I see you aren't coughing anymore. <laughs> that I'm not. I finished. I just finished making a new medicine that took care of. Oh, uh, well, I hope you feel better soon. <laughs> she is a mess. And she's the mayor as well? What the heck is she doing? Alright, there's something over here. It's like a crystal shop or something. The cr Crystal Abra. It's exactly what I thought. A crystal shop. <laughs> Hello. Oh no. Huh? How unlucky. You are our 9,999th visitor. Oh. Had you been the 10,000th, I would have given you a crystal as a customer appreciation prize. What the hell? Wow, that is bad luck. Yes, it sure is. So very unfortunate. How about this? Why don't you step out of the shop for a moment, then come back in? Uh, sure. Um... Did he just... Um... What? Um... Uh, like this? No, no, my friend. You should have asked me to step outside with you. What? Well, it's a mute point now. How can I help you? Oh, right. I'm trying to understand. My name's Alice. Ah, yes, I heard about you. Is it true you've lost your memories? Lately, I've been rather forgetful of myself, so I can understand what you're going through. Ha, huh, I see. Oh, who are you? Where are my manners? I'm Heinz, proprietor of this crystal shop. Heinz. Our motto is happiness sprouts from a smile. Please just punch to make your acquaintance. The pleasure's all mine, Heinz. Um, By the way, about that customer appreciation prize. <laughs> You're quite the comedian, my friend. Do you think a crystal shop way out in the boonies could possibly attract 10,000 visitors? I, I guess not. All right, Heinz. Freaking weirdo. Are you up or below? Guess below. Wait, where is he? Am I blind? Oh, he's just sitting there. You rang? Why, hello there, Alice. Need something? Well, I was hoping you could tell me a little about your business. I'd be happy to make my business your business. I'll give you the explanation of a lifetime. Please do. Here at the Crystal Abra, we mainly deal in magic and ruin abilities. Um, not crystals? I figured you'd say that. You think a crystal shop would actually sell crystals, right? I thought the same thing, but boy was I wrong. 
Why, it's a wonder that we can even call ourselves the Crystal Aura in the first place. It's no wonder at all, if you ask me. But how did you even find yourself in this situation? Well, I packed the shelves so full of spells and ruin buildings that I sort of forgot to leave some room for the crystals. I could try to reorganize them, but that seems like a lot of work. So I think I might just, you know, keep it that this way forever. Aha. Uh -huh. But don't you worry, I'll be selling crystals again in no time. I mean it. Alright, dude, I'm just gonna leave, Heinz. You just, you just do you. This is like a bathhouse. A blue moon. An inn? Ooh. What is this place? Is it a bathhouse? <gasps> it is! Mora, Mora Kuma? Sup? Yo! Oh, if it isn't the hero of the hour. Yo. Hmm? <laughs> oh my god, he's giving off such big himbo energy. Mora Kuma. The one and only? Given my offer any thought? There's plenty of room for you to stay at my place. Perks of being the innkeeper. Innkeeper slash hot springs. Actually, I'm staying at the silo. I'm glad that everything worked out. Say no more. I'm sure it'll take the seed like a duck to water. Hang in there. It's a jungle out there, but work hard and you'll get by. Alright. If you ever need a break, come take a dip in our spa. There's no better way to restore your health and energy. Yes! Great. Great, thanks for the offer. Is he the only one here? Where's his niece? You know, I'm liking him. I can't talk to him if he's over there. All right. My B, I'll leave. I got Klutz one. Watch that happen again. That's gonna happen to me again. All right, there's something over here as well. What is this? Studio Palmo. Oh gosh. Joyous joy. Eureka. What the? Oh, hello, person who I have never met. Feast your eyes on this. Okay. I, Palmo Criasse, the Saint Coquille, uh. poured forth my entire being into this one sheet. Ah. Uh. This is ex this is escalating quickly. Um, it's a blueprint. Correctamundo. I am overcome by a wave of pure emotion. Behold, a work of art that is also a toy a toilet a toilet. It looks pretty sturdy. What the hell is happening? Who are you talking to? A fine eye for detail, totally random stranger. This porcelain throne could bear a dragon's girth. Truly a seat for the masses. Wow, I don't know what to say. She just threw it on the ground. Oh, God. Joyous joy. Your look of bewonderment says it all. Hmm? But I am getting ahead of myself. Who, might I ask, are you? Hello. Uh I'm the new C trainee, Alice. I'm gonna be living in Rick Bar, so I'm making the rounds to introduce myself to everyone. Yes! Gee, 
please. Sweet ser serendipity, a new acquaintance. I feel the electric tingle of future inspiration. Oh. Oh. Hello. Momo, can you keep it down? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Your laziness is also inspiring, young Riker. How magnificently your work is piled up. Hmm. <laughs> My bad. I'll get straight to it. Tomorrow. Today, I rest. Uh, okay. <laughs> Bye. Who's that? That is Riker. The apprentice carpenter under my tutelage. tutelage. If I let him oversleep, he becomes completely useless. Oh. Oh, I see. He seems oddly happy about that. And with that... I must begin constructing my masterpiece. When it is finished, I do hope that you, you that we may share the spark of creativity again. I look forward to it. You left your blueprint on the ground. Bruh. What the hell? Oh, they're both over here. Hello, Riker. Hey there, Riker. Hey. Uh, who are you again? I'm Alice. I joined Seed just recently. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hmm. Seed's newest flunky, eh? Can't say it's a pleasure for me. Oh, well, dang. Sorry, I'm just none too fun of the fond of them. But... but I guess you don't seem too bad. Work stuff aside, it's good to meet you. Uh, thanks? Um. Oh. Oh-ho! Oh-ho! We meet again! So we do. It's nice to see you, Palmo. By Jove! You remembered my name! I'm so flattered! How could I not? Congratulations! All of our newly acquainted customers receive a free cooking table. You'll find your lovely gift waiting for you by the entrance to Studio Palmo, so don't forget to bring it back home. Oh, thanks! Today's the kind of day where the sun rays are getting gonna scorch me all morning uh, why does work have to start in the morning because it'd be too hard to see anything if you had to work in the dark that's not exactly what I meant I feel that Riker honestly we get a free this I just took it where do I put it? <laughs> just took it. I mean, she said I could take it, but I just didn't. I can I put it up? Oh boy. That's. It's a calendar. Okay. I don't know why I have this, but I do. I can place it on the bridge. You know, for now, I'm, I'm gonna place this, like, here. Okay. Okay, there's someone down here we haven't met. Is that Julian? There's Julian. Oh, he's with Hina. Oh. Jeez. No, uh, I'm way stronger than you. No. You wish. Dang, they're about to fight. Sounds like an argument. He's so tiny and cute. I'll show you. Okay. Bring it on. Oh no, they're fighting. I better break it up. Did Lucy know? Hold it right there. Who do you think you are buttoning in on a fair fight? Lucy? But they might. What? 
He has such rosy cheeks. Here goes. Let's do this. <laughs> oh my god. Dang! He got his butt kicked! Oh. Yay! I win! Oh my gosh. Why are you crying? She's crying? That's why I tried to stop them. What an amazing battle. Yeah, an amazing- huh? Yo. Hey, Julian. I don't know what this- what's happening, but we should just go with the flow. Uh-huh. I lost. Oh, he's really down in the dumps. Was awesome. What? But next time, I'm gonna win for sure. There he goes. What just happened? What a tough kid. Right? Toughness is pretty much the only thing he's got going for him. Only? Come on. Oh, hey. you didn't. You didn't get to introduce yourself. I'll let him know about you later. You sure? Thank you. Anyway, keep up the hard work. Alright. Huh? Wait! What about our competition? Oops, almost forgot. Let's call it a draw. I won't go so easy on you next time. Alright, Lucy. Next time. Have I met everyone in town? I'll report back to the field captain tomorrow. For now, I should call it a day. Okay. So pretty. It's already getting late. Riker? <laughs> what the heck is he doing? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what was that? What? Am I seeing things? Did he just jump off the bridge? What happened? Hello? Captain expects me to report back to her office once I finish my mission. All right, that's what we're doing then. Right. Sleeping? Did my sleeping skill go up? Is this two-handed? Sleeping skill? Why do I have this? 25% up. Oh. I love this. This is so cute. Wait, you can bring... The children? But not Captain Livia. Or maybe you can, but she doesn't have a weapon. Wait, don't tell me. You can bring... <laughs> you can bring the old couple? Gosh.
Thank you.